Hello and welcome to Thursday's video devotion on how we see Jesus in the Old Testament. Now today we're going to talk about something that I know a lot of people have trouble with and that is the violence in the Old Testament. Um, in the in the uh, eighth chapter of 2 Samuel it talks about David's many victories and how many uh, army people in the army he killed. Um, and uh, he, what's happening here is David's expanding the uh, boundaries of Israel and also taking care of some uh, long-time enemies of Israel. Uh, one is the Edomites, which uh, we're going to read about today, that David defeats. Um, and they, you know, they, there's a history of the Edomite, Edomites, you um, know, all the way from the time that Israel was coming through um, coming out of Egypt into the promised land. They had to kind of avoid them, even though they're sort of distant relatives. But um, they were fighting with them off and on throughout uh, the years. And so in today's lesson, in chapter 8, it says, and this is after several battles that David has won where he's gained land. Um, so David became even more famous when he returned from destroying 18,000 Edomites um, in the Valley of Salt. He placed army garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became David's subjects. In fact, the David, in fact, the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. So, wherever David goes, the Lord made him victorious. Um, that may be even happening today. I don't know. I don't want to get into this too much, but there's a, a pretty a truthful thing. It says, don't fight with Israel. Um, and if you look at the battles Israel has had, like the Six-Day War and others, um, usually, you know, the battle happens and then uh, Israel ends up with more land. They win and end up with more land. That happens almost every time. Kind of what happened to David, too. Um, so David has become very, very popular. And uh, Jesus also becomes very popular. In Luke, in Mark, excuse me, Mark chapter 3, verse 7, it says, Jesus went out uh, to the lake with his disciples, and a large crowd followed him. They came from all over Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, uh, Edomia, from the east of the Jordan River, and even from as far north as Tyre and Sidon. The news about his miracles had spread far and wide, and vast numbers of people came to see him. So we have both David, who's you know, creating um, more Israel, becoming more popular. We have Jesus, who is at this point in his ministry is very popular, and thousands of people are coming to hear him, because, and to see him, and to see his miracles, and have him uh, heal them. So, you know that Jesus, the crowds went away. And uh, not so much for David, but, you know, later on they, they go away for, for his offspring as well. Um, and you know there are large churches all over. And my experience is that when you really get down to the gospel, uh, people aren't real interested in that good news. Because what we want is we want it to be about ourselves. And one of the things that David really never did was he never made it about himself. He, that when he comes back from a battle, he gives thanks to the Lord. He doesn't ever say, hey, I did a great job. But he gives thanks to the Lord. He never makes it about him. But we like it when it is about us. And the crowds are coming to Jesus because it's all about them and what he can do for them. But as soon as they realize that he's going to the cross, that, that, that doesn't look like a winner to them. They all leave, including his disciples. Because we really don't want um, to have a message that says it's not about us, but it's about God. David knew that, that it was about God. Jesus definitely knew that it was about God. He was God. And that's a message for us for today, that it it really, in your life, needs to be about God. Now, everything's not going to go well if you make it about God. In fact, I think I can promise you that things may go worse. But making things about us never makes us happy. 
But making things about Jesus, about God, does make us happy. And just like David, you can have God uh, with you when you're fighting your battles, if you make it about him and not yourself. If you see that every situation that comes into your life is coming um, because God is letting it be there, um, then you have something to learn from that thing in your life, and you can grow from that because God is always teaching us. Um, It's about God, and it's not about us. And the quicker we learn that, the more blessed and the more happy we will be. Just like David made it all about God, just like Jesus, who was God and made it all about God in your life, you need to also make it all about God and not yourself. God bless and have a great day. Goodbye.